Hello everyone, this is Maxwell Maxwell Kale here today, and I'll be reading more uh, poems by uh, Stephen Crane from his book, The Black Riders and Other Lines, so I hope you enjoy them. Here we go. Number 30. Supposing that I should have the courage to let a red sword of virtue plunge into my heart, letting through the weeds of the ground my sinful blood, what can you offer me? A garden castle, a flowery kingdom, what, a hope? Then hence with your red swords of virtue. 31. Many workmen built a huge ball of masonry upon a mountain top. Then they went to the valley below and turned to behold their work. It is grand, they said. They loved the thing. Of a sudden it moved. It came upon them swiftly and crushed them all to blood. But some had an opportunity to squeal. Number 32. Two or three angels came near to the earth. They saw a fat church like black streams of people came and went in continuously. And the angels were puzzled to know why the people went thus and why they stayed so long within. Number 33. There was one I met upon the road who looked at me with kind eyes. He said, show me of your wares. And this I did, holding forth one. He said, it is a sin. Then I held forth another. He said, it is a sin. Then I held forth another. He said, it is a sin. And so to the end, always he said, it is a sin. And finally I cried out, but I have none other. Then did he look at me with kinder eyes? Poor soul, he said. 34. I stood upon a highway, and behold, there came many estranged peddlers. To me, each one made gestures, holding forth little images, saying, This is my pattern of God. Now this is the God I prefer, but I said, Hence, leave me with mine own and take you, yours, away. I can't buy of your patterns of God, the little gods you may rightly prefer. 35. A man saw a ball of gold in the sky. He climbed for it, and eventually he achieved it. It was clay. Now this is the strange part. When the man went to the earth and looked again, lo, there was the ball of gold. Now this is the strange part. It was a ball of gold. I, by the heavens, it was a ball of gold. And, uh, 36. I met a seer. He held in his hands the book of wisdom. Sir, I addressed him. Let me read. Child, he began. Sir, I said, think not that I am a child, for already I know much of which you hold. I much? He smiled. Then he opened the book and held it before me. Strange that I should have grown so suddenly blind. Number 37. On the horizon, the peaks assembled, and as I looked, the march of the mountains began, and as they marched, they sang, I, we come, we come. And number 38. The ocean said to me once, Look, yonder on the shore is a woman weeping. I have watched her go to you and tell her this. Her lover I have laid in cool green hall. There is wealth of golden sand and pillars coral red. Two white fish stand guard at his bier. Tell her this and more, that the king of the seas weeps too old helpless man. The bustling fates heap his hands with corpses until he stands like a child of surpluses of toys. 39. The livid lightnings flashed in the clouds. The leaden thunders crashed. A worshiper raised his arm. Hearken, hearken, the voice of God. Not so, said a man. The voice of God whispers in the heart so softly that the soul pauses, making no noise, and strives for these melodies, distant sighing like faintest breath, and all the being is still to hear. 40. And you love me. I love you. You are then cold coward. I but beloved. When I strive to come to you, man's opinions of thousand thickets, my interwoven existence, my life. Caught in the stubble of the world like a tender veil, this stays me. No strange move can I make without noise of tearing. I dare not, if love loves, there is no world nor word. All is lost save thought of love and place to dream. You love me, I love you. You are then cold coward, I but beloved. 41. Love walked alone. The rocks cut her tender feet, and the brambles tore her fair limbs. There came a companion to her, but alas, he was no help, for his name was Heart's Pain. 42. I walked in a desert, and I cried, Ah, oh God, take me from this place. A voice said, It is no desert. I cried, Well, but. The sand, the heat, the vacant horizon, a voice said, It is no desert. 50, uh, 43. They came whispering in the winds, goodbye, goodbye. Little voices called in the darkness, goodbye, goodbye. 
Then I stretched forth my arms, and no, no. There came whispering in the wind, goodbye, goodbye. Little voices called in the darkness, goodbye, goodbye.